Hello everyone, this is Deepak Keshwani and I am Technical Consulting Engineer with Data Center Route Switch Tech Team. In this video, we are going to talk about Smart Licensing on Nexus Switches. Smart License. It is a software management platform that manages all Cisco product licenses under single user interface. Smart Account. It provides you a user interface to purchase, manage, deploy, track all smart enabled products and licenses. Virtual account. It is a sub account within smart account. You can define virtual account structure based on any defined hierarchy such as geographic location or any business function. This discussion is based on Cisco Global White Paper published by Data Center team and we will refer this document for config and troubleshooting. Smart license is supported from NXOS release 933 onwards on all Nexus 9000 and 3000 series switches except Nexus 3016 and 3064. It is also supported from 801 release onwards on all Nexus 7000. Here are supported methods of smart licensing on Nexus switch. Direct cloud access. This is the default and easiest method to configure smart license on Nexus switch. In this method, switch has internet access and sends license users information to Cisco directly. Access through an HTTP proxy. In this method, switch sends license users information over internet via proxy server. Access through an on-prem license management. It has two options, connected and disconnected environment. In this method, switch sends license users information to locally installed server which periodically exchange information with Cisco to keep satellite server in sync. Sync occurs automatically in case of connected environment and we have to do this process manually in case of disconnected environment where server does not have reachability to Cisco.com. Full offline access. In this method, we have to copy paste license users information between switch and Cisco and this method is also not advertised publicly. This is the workflow for smart license on Nexus switch. By default, smart license is disabled and it is in unconfigured state. Once you enable smart license feature on Nexus switch, it goes under unidentified state as it is not linked with any smart account. After creating an ID token from a valid smart account and use it over switch, it goes under registered state. In this state, switch is able to communicate with Cisco successfully. After successful registration, switch will go into in compliance state if required license is available or in case of negative balance, it will go into out of compliance state. At times we do see authorization expire. In this state, switch is not able to communicate with Cisco after its last sync up. We can manage smart license with the help of Cisco smart account. To access smart license portal, go to software.cisco.com. Here you need to use your smart account credentials and if you are a new user, you can use link given in description to create new account. Click on manage license. Alerts. This is the default tab and here you would see major and minor alerts related to your smart license consumption. Inventory. Under this we have license tab. We can see information about used and available licenses. Product instance tab. Here we can see already registered devices under this account. You can click on any available product to see details such as part ID and serial number. You can also remove or transfer already used license to any other device. General tab. Here you can create ID token. It is a secure key to register switch with smart account. In order to create ID token, click on new token tab. Click on proceed. Description. It is to identify the device. Expire after. It is to validate the number of days this token would be available. Max number of uses. The max number of devices where we can use this token. Click on create token tab. New ID token has been created. You can click on actions and copy ID token. After enabling smart license feature, we shall use ID token with register command and check if switch is under registered and in compliance state. Thank you for watching this video.